all my nicknames, they call me Ponytail. What's up, man? You all right? I never wanted to cut my hair because my hair looked like a peanut M&M to me. But I tell them, you don't want to mess with Ponytail. Watch out, downtown. <laughs> I'm Ponytail. Watch me roar. Hi, this is Ponytail. That's my buddy DeAndre. Pull the parking enforcement guy in the city, man. See how fast I wrote this ticket? It's finished already. Look at that look. Who wears a ponytail, man? You gotta be cool. No mercy. Give them all to you. All of my adoring fans. <laughs> All you good people in Detroit, I love you all. You gotta get up early in the morning to fool with old ponytail. Here's a vehicle right here parked left wheel of the curb. Two-way street, the car should be going westbound as it's going eastbound. Come over here with that ticket. What is y'all doing? This vehicle left wheel of the curb. Get the f now. Ma'am, it's a two-way street right here. And it's also a safety violation. You try me. Ma'am. You test me. Bitch. Why are you cussing? I knock your brains out. Just you think you are? Get the gone before you die out here, bitch. That was insane right there. You were not for me. She waking the neighbors up. Kiss my ass, ma'am. If I hit you, that'd be nice. Get the uh, out. Get the out. So if I knock you and bust you in your face, then what? Why are you gonna do that? It's not worth it. Get the from around my house. If you came out counting by the night, I would let him turn the car around. Suck, bitch, bitch. I'm gonna vacate the premises after that one. Nobody in that cab. Yeah, you blocking the sidewalk. If the, if the postal service come out here, how they gonna get around his car? He ain't picking anybody up. Well, cab driver, you can't block the sidewalk. Uh-oh. It's like looking out the window right now. Can't you be considerate, man? I, I went in there to use the bathroom when I hadn't came back out yet. I mean, but, I, you know, I live here, man. I had to go take it. I didn't know that, my man. I had to rush to go to the bathroom. If you had to use the restroom, you should have came. You should have parked right down the street. Man, dad, can't you be considerate, man? You, when you say being considerate, you got to be considerate. You the people that's got to walk down the street, my man. People can't walk. It's slippery out here. Somebody going to hurt themselves. I came and I should take it. What's the difference? I mean, I damn, I had body functions. I, just, I get out of the car, run like a mad dog. I didn't think at any time that that would happen to me because I went in the house to use the bathroom. Even the kids going to school you shouldn't have to walk around your car to go down the street. It cost me $30 to take it. That's too bad. You got a ticket. To use the bathroom. You can't block the sidewalk. That's the bottom line, OK? That's it. you, man. Who wants to know what he was in there doing? I don't. I don't want to hear about my own dumps. So I don't want to hear about somebody else's dumps. I see a handicap violation at this pharmacy right here. You can't park there unless you have a handicap permit. No, no. You already got a ticket. What you think? You ain't finished. You just pulled out. It don't matter. I'm quick. I went to school with you. You did? <laughs> yeah. No, Martin you did. Martin Luther King. I do know you. I, was I ain't never I went to no you. Martin Luther King. Don't try to block the license plate. I already see it. I ain't trying to block it. Like, you were. You were standing right here trying to talk to me. Tomorrow. Uh huh. Uh huh. I was not trying to yeah. block. I wasn't even thinking well, about it. Well, I was. Well, that's what it looked like. I mean, you were blocking it, though. And that's when I said, "Don't block it." I see it. I'm quick. God bless you. <laughs> that's all I got to say. God bless me. That's right. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. I got my ticket for the day. Okay. You know how much this ticket is? <laughs> how much is this ticket? Two hundred dollars. What? One hundred. Okay. <laughs> God bless you. <laughs> you know what? You are blessed, because anybody that keeps sense of humor like that after getting a $100 ticket, you got to be one of the greatest people in the world. <laughs> I got to give this car some gentle guidance. There's always one strand from the flock every minute. 20 bucks, man. Good job, dude. Thanks, man. You look like a bitch to me. That business is supposed to be taken care of before you go in to take care of the other business. Men don't wear ponytails no more. That went out in the 70s. That's OK, a... man, that's it. That's enough. What, you can't take it? Troop hurt? My hair didn't write the ticket my hands did. Can't use a broad, man, with a ponytail. You can't control what they say and think, so you have to look over that. I make more than what you make in a week. Well, I don't really have to sit here and listen to this anymore. I got more of the flock that's calling me. There's a beauty school right on the corner here. 
See, there's a vehicle right there at the crosswalk right now. I ain't getting no ticket, am I? You ain't getting one with somebody. If one person see me, they gonna run in there and they all gonna come out. Now, you know how to wrote it already. It's so no, it ain't. Look where the car parked at. Look right here. Look, look right there. If somebody in the wheelchair come past, they're going to come down. They're going to be like, boom, boom, and boom. Yesterday, y'all going to still come over here. We be trying to help the city, and y'all come over here, and y'all mess with us every day. Y'all ain't just right. bringing it back to my car. How are you doing today? Okay, how are you doing? I'm doing OK. You haven't already ticketed me, have you? Yeah, I already ticketed me, have you? I had all of this stuff. I was just bringing it. I already put the ticket on the car, young lady. He need a ring on his finger, then he won't be up here bothering us. I'm a young lady. I need to park closely to wherever I'm going. I don't want to be walking down the, you know, walking a couple blocks and I have these beautiful shoes on. So next time, I'll be a lot wiser. We could have been in the inside and we could have been giving you a relaxer, but you want to be on your right <laughs> I got a job to do. That's what I'm gonna do. Ponytail do his job. And remember that. We're gonna cut your ponytail off. That's what we're gonna do. That ain't funny. <laughs> it's time to get out of here. Man, I see a storm of ruin today. It could be the rain or it could be me. See, look right there in the clouds up there. It look like a ponytail reaching down right out of those clouds. Somebody parked in the bus stop. Presto! We ain't seen no parking in it. I hate them suckers. They overlooked the warning signs. Do yourself a favor, people. Buy you some flood insurance, because if I come sweeping through here, I'm taking everything with me. Did I say that? We got an expired meter right here. Sometime I'm like a whirlwind. Here it comes. Hey! This meter is expired. That one don't work. Money and this one, this one don't work. That don't mean you couldn't park there. If you'd have stayed and it wasn't working, I could take it back. But you move. I just still can't. Ma'am, you let the meter expire. You can't do that. You gonna tell me what to do. $20. I might as well park it in the parking lot. Well, How did I get my 75 cents back out of here then? Well, you had to write a letter to the city. Get out my way. Don't get upset. It's not that bad. Tell me what to do. I don't need no damn tickets. I already got my license suspended for some damn. Oh my God. You gonna tell me what to do? No, I was saying it wasn't that bad. I, that's it all. It's bad. I ain't got no damn twenty dollars. But it's only ten dollars if you pay it within ten days. It's still ten dollars. I should have parked in a parking lot. Oh damn. Oh, here they are, right here. Get out my way. Hey, you know what you can do with this thing and shove it up your ass. Man, it is hot out here. It's real hot. Too hot for me. I hate it. I like the 4th of July. Patriotism, all that is good. The red, white, and blue. That's what it's all about, America. I just don't like getting caught in traffic. We got a vehicle that pulled in the rush hour. Excuse me, ma'am. Pardon? You, only, you can't park on this side of the street till after 9 o'clock, ma'am. Till after 9 o'clock? Yes, ma'am. Isn't me a ticket, are you? No, ma'am. Yeah, I wouldn't think it was right if I just let you park there and then come back and get you a ticket, OK? You got to do what you got to do. That's your job. You have a wonderful day. You too, ma'am. <laughs> she was a nice lady. And see, everybody doesn't hate me, see? <laughs> they know I had a job to do. Oh, my goodness. Traffic is already congested. I'm hot, I'm ready to go home, and that's it for today. I'm gonna go see the fireworks myself now.